with another project. Uh, so today's uh, pattern that I'll be showing you is a quick sew pattern for K4260 and it runs in sizes from uh, extra small to extra large and it's a patchwork dress A and B. I will be attempting A so let me show you the back of the pattern now with the description. Uh, it's a fairly recent pattern. It's a 2019 copyright. And the description says pullover patchwork swing dress with neck facings and side seam pockets. So, you know, pockets are always a good thing. And then it also has a um, bias armhole facing. For fabric choice, uh, it's designed for lightweight woven fabrics. And the suggested fabrics are cotton blends, broadcloth, lightweight linen, gingham, and chambray. I will be using... Uh, three color uh, gingham that I got so it's a yellow black and red choice here and it's um, small squares gingham about one eighth not the large uh, size plaids all right so this is what I'm going to be using as um, my patchwork material It runs in the larger sizes XL, so for those of you who are plus size like myself, you may have to do some adjustments depending on your measurements to either the bust, the waist, or the hip. So I'll be doing mine. Um, the finished garment measures uh, not much information here, although some patterns do have the finished garment on the pattern piece itself so that might be the case but all that's here is the, the lower edge width of the dress and the back length from the neck material required uh, the gingham is 45 inch wide so you'll need um, one and a half if you're doing A or B and uh, for the contrast material, you'll be needed um, some more contrast one and two, one and a quarter yard, seven eight yard, and also fusible interfacing. Now by contrast one and two, let me see if I can get this a little closer for you. This would be the main fabric and one contrast one is at the top here and the bottom the lower end and then contrast two is over on the other side and here and then they have a similar um, line drawing for the back of A and um, the sleeve if you're doing B so the only difference in B actually is the sleeve I'm not sure how much material I have, whether I might switch to doing the one with the sleeve, but we'll see. Now, as always, you have to remember to read your instructions before. So I took those out of the packet. Let's have a look. Um, there is the sheet, the instruction sheet just one sheet front and back now on the pattern piece it doesn't say that it is an easy pattern yes or no so it might be a little more um, for the intermediate um, beginners because of the number of pieces I see here there are 13 pieces in all and uh, you're gonna have to keep track of it that you don't you do not mix it up in terms of what goes where for the different contrasts. 
let me show you the layout. The layout is interesting for the 45 inch wide uh, fabric. It's actually cut out on a, on a single layer material. So you're looking at the right side of the fabric there and then you paste the pieces down. So in this case it's 5, 9 and you flip again for 5. Uh, did I go through what they were? No. Um, one, you have an upper right and an upper left. And then you have three and four, which is a lower right and in the middle right. And five and six is lower left in the front and back. And then you switch to the back, upper, lower and middle. There's a pocket piece which is nine. And then you have the facing pieces, I'm all facing. And 13 is the sleeve. So in the layout here, you actually have to lay out on a single layer. These pieces first, five, nine and 12. Then we go to the contrast layout, contrast one. Again, on a single layer, you'll be laying out pieces one, six, from four, and ten. Three and eleven is done on the fold. And over on the other side, you have the layout for the contrast two, which is again done on a single layer. terms of the steps now seam allowance is 5 8 inches uh, the steps show you how to assemble the, the patchwork uh, pieces together so you have stay stitching that is done stitching uh, 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 upper right to upper left This introduces the lower right, stay stitching, and then you're stitching your middle right to one of the lower right. So clearly you can see it's um, almost like a little puzzle. So you have to take your time that you're stitching the right ones. This is stitching the middle to a lower and then to a right side and uh, we have to get all of those assembled and do the same thing now for the back let's flip to the back of the instruction sheet now when you go through the back now then you begin to introduce the pockets And stitch those in before you go to actually get in the dress together by stitching the back to the front at the shoulder seams. So it's it's a little bit intricate. Uh, we're gonna go through and follow these steps as best as I can to show you. This is the assembly of the facing and um, this is the armhole if you're doing sleeves it's the setting sleeves and that's it All right. so we have about uh, 15 16 17 steps to go through before completion so let's get started. I'm going to cut out and lay out the fabric and I'll show you. I have decided to go with B which is the short sleeves, cap sleeves really, version. And so the layout for B 
on the main fabric which I'm using the black is uh, pieces 5, 9 and 13 so I have them here now let me get this out the way okay this is 5 Selvage, this is the right side you're looking at. This is Selvage at the bottom, and uh, let's see all the way up to the top there. Selvage at the top. So we have piece five, then we have the sleeve, which is piece 13, and then we have the pocket, which is piece nine. And so, what I'm gonna do is cut that out first this means the pattern pieces are facing up I'm going to cut that out then I'm going to flip the pocket piece to cut the other side on the fabric and um, flip the, pack, the pocket pieces again here right underneath this after I've cut this out and take this piece and flip piece number five and the sleeve piece to the other end so that's one way of doing it the other way was you could simply have um, duplicated it and draw it out on another sheet of paper so that I could have set it out fully along the entire length of the fabric uh, but I'm just gonna cut this set first flip and do the other set and that is in the black fabric main here and then I'll move on to the contrast 1 and uh, contrast 2 I'm moving on to cut out the red I've decided that the red would be my contrast 1 uh, the black that I cut out before is the main, which is the sleeves and this area. Now, contrast one is the top here, which is the upper right front and the lower. So these two pieces should be in red. So I went to the layout for contrast one and came across a discrepancy uh, piece number one is the upper right which is here piece number one upper right to be cut out and piece number three is the lower right which is here but the middle right piece number four should be contrast two different color in between but they also have pattern piece four on contrast one so I actually looked, which is very important to read these um, instructions. And when I looked on the pattern piece for contrast four, it clearly says cut one of contrast two. So that means four should not be on this layout here with contrast one. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and just do one, three, six, and the facings 10 and 11 on the red material also I'm looking at the facing pieces 10 and 11 front and back facing they have it shown here as cut on the single layer right side up but when I actually look at the pattern pieces the front facing it says cut one on the fold of contrast one and um, that's the front facing and the back facing also says cut one on the fold and there's um, a center fold back 
and there is a place where the center front fold as well so what I'm gonna do really is just cut one and six single layer so that's the one that I have here and the six that's all I'll be cutting single layer and then I'll take the fabric and fold it right sides together and cut uh, piece number three contrast two and I've chosen the yellow gingham for contrast two and so we have pieces eight two and seven and then also the four from the discrepancy and contrast one okay so here you have it you have uh, pieces uh, eight uh, two all the way to the top is seven and then beside it I've added four right? and um, you may notice the positioning but uh, remember also that you have to bear in mind your grain line so that's very easy to follow because of the fact that the gingham has um, the lines so the pattern pieces should always position be positioned where the the grain line arrow um, fits so this is the final layout so I'll cut this out now and then after that we do the markings and begin so it's the first piece the number one the upper right front and the very first instructions I have another hiccup um, it says the stay stitch which we normally do on the curve of the um, this is the neckline right but it says the stay stitch through the circle and clip to the circle and there is no circle marking on this neckline I'm not sure why we need to clip through to it um, there is a circle mark in here for the armhole there's another one at the lower part um, below the bust so I'm just going to stay stitch as per normal which we should always do along a curve along the neckline so I've just stay stitched just about a quarter inch within the seam and now I have piece number two which is the upper left front um, the seam allowance is five eighths of an inch uh, I might just do a half inch adjustment for myself so along this front seam here now I'm going to turn this contrast piece which is the yellow and uh, stitch along the front seam here so we have the upper left and right assembled so now we're going to come down one side of the dress we're starting with the right side so this is piece number three which is the lower right and there are actually two we have a front and a back and the instructions call for us to stay stitched there's a little curve here so we're gonna stay stitched that for a bit and then we're gonna attach this lower right to the middle right um, piece uh, of the dress and that would complete um, this side because at the bottom of this lower right is the hem um, the bottom edge all right so we did upper middle and now no, but we haven't done middle yet. We're gonna stay stitch here and attach this to the middle, and so we'll have an upper, a middle, and a lower. Okay, so it's a uh, stay stitched about a quarter inch from the edge. Uh, it's I'm using white thread, so you should be able to see that line there. okay so I'm going to do the other side and then attach this lower piece to the middle so here we have 
piece number four, which is the middle right front. All right, so that piece uh, comes down to a lower seam curve, right? And that is the curve that we're going to attach to the lower right piece, uh, which I just did stitch two of them, one for the front and one for the back. So I'm going to take this piece for now and um, attach it to the lower. So that's middle and lower. And we already did upper. We haven't attached it yet, but we did the upper right and upper left up here. Okay. Okay, now we're on piece number five, which is the lower left front and back. All right. And um, this I did out of the black. So I have pinned that lower left front and back to the middle and the lower right that I did in the previous step and so we're gonna stitch all along the front seam there okay five is uh, this piece here the lower left front and um, five is gonna match up right here so this was the let me use a pencil this was the middle and lower right and now the left front piece I'm going to attach these two one and two I did at the beginning but we're gonna finish this up before we move to attaching it to one and two and then that will complete the front and we do the same all over again for the back Okay, so now we have the connected upper front piece uh, pinned to the, the lower and the middle pieces now. So it's pinned all the way here and um, so I'm going to stitch that now. Okay, stitch all the way along here and this will complete the entire front piece from neck down to the hem. Okay, the rest of the fabric is just folded up there and um, you have the arm opening here curve on either side here the next one all right so we are finishing up the front and then I'll be doing the same thing all over for the back so we'll have the front and the back piece to begin to start to attach at the shoulder I haven't finished yet but I'm just showing you that for the back I'm pretty much repeating the same thing as I did for the front so this is the completed front where we did um, upper left and right together and then you have the middle and the lower pieces connected and um, so now for the back up there now I've started now to do the upper right and left of the back and then I'm going to continue now with the middle and lower pieces as I did for the front. So I'm not going to repeat and show those steps all over again. Okay, so the, the back is complete. And um, I've added uh, pockets to the side. Uh, you're looking at the right side. So the pockets were like that. And then you have to stitch and then under stitch at this side so you have a pocket piece there and a pocket piece there uh, behind it is the front um, pocket piece as well and on the other side and I have attached it at the shoulder 
So I am about to do the side, all right? Side pieces and we'll be pretty much finished. Uh, all that will be remain is the facing for the neck facing and the sleeve. Not quite sure if I'm doing the sleeveless or the sleeves yet, but um, I think it's the sleeves and the facing is all that remains. And of course, hemming and a good press of this uh, gingham.